Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, pass it for consideration on the suggestions that War Thunder always do each month. Last month with the May, they actually added one aircraft I really really wanted to see, which is a more advanced FRE, so I wanted to talk about that today. So. Basically an F4E late, so it was suggested and accepted into consideration, so it might see the daylight of the game in a future. We don't know, of course, if it's there, it doesn't mean that it is going to be in the game, but it has a chance, you know. Um, but yeah, it would be cool to see another F4 or something like that to bridge the gap between the F4 that we have to the F-15. I know a lot of people will disagree with it, but maybe they can add it uh, as a bracket, you know. Uh, that way we can actually have the option of not, uh, like, you just don't need to actually research the F4 E late uh, before the F-15 when it's added, right? So what it would look like, this aircraft? So they actually suggested a Block 58 version from 1983, but it, it is basically a mid-80s version or late 80s, if you will, right? Probably, probably, as I said, a Block 58, uh, so same engine, same engine, so the J79-17-17, uh, but with um, the smokeless engines, instead of the normal 17s, it could be the, the C variant of this engine, or the E, which are smokeless, if I'm not mistaken, but it has the same power, okay? The same radar, the APG, uh, APQ, sorry, uh, 120 with a minor mode um, that would help a tiny bit more in the look down, but overall it is basically the same radar, same RWR as we have, I think it's the APR 46, right? Agile Wiggle, obviously, these LEDs, right? Same flare pods, same everything, same cannon. Uh, so the weapon systems would be, would be the main thing where things differ a little bit. So, of course, the addition of the 9J, obviously it's the same so that the F4E um, has, so it would be the same. But in real life, you use the 9N, the November, which is just a, a little bit of an improvement over the original J. But especially the P's, so a P4, for example, or even P5, uh, being all aspect versions of the P's, uh, with even some form of IRCCMs. And just to be a, an overall better all aspect missiles from the J. It's basically the same missile, but with a better seeker with all aspect. But to be honest, I still think that it should get the AIM 9L, the Lima from 1978. Uh, so, yeah. Also, the Sparrows could be added with a better version. So, obviously, the AIM 7F and the AIM 7M. Uh, but in the air to ground, would be the, like, the biggest differences. Uh, in the sense of weaponry, right? The AGM-65D, 65, 65 so the Mavericks that are... Um, it has thermals, basically IR guided, if I'm not mistaken, just like the A-10 that we have in-game, the A-10 late. Uh, but also, of course, walleyes, the AGM-62s. It could do even uh, anti-radiation um, missions, so AGM-45, strikes, AGM-78, standard arms. Um, of course, the GBU-10s, 12s, 14s, 15s, this is obviously, you know, associated image, uh, you know, with the targeting systems. Um, of course, Mark 80 series of iron bombs and CBU-24 cluster bombs as well. So that would be the main difference between the original F4E that we have in-game and a better version like this. Uh, it is, yeah, very much the same aircraft, you know, but these additions of new missiles and stuff would make it so that it has a higher BR, obviously. So it should have a BR of around 11.3. Very similar to something like the FRE Kurnus, right? Uh, the, or the Kurnus 2000, if I will, uh, if I may. And I think it's, yeah, Gaijin actually said that they don't want to add these, miss these missiles uh, and everything like that because it would increase the BR. So adding, adding basically a second aircraft would make it so that it is a... Uh, you know, second option for players. So if the player actually wants a late or mid 70s kind of like 1970, I don't know, 5, 1976 version of the F4E, uh, we can have the original one at 11.0. If you want a 1980s version of the F4E, you can fly it in 11, uh, on 11.3 with the 9Ls and 7Ms and stuff. 
And yeah, I mean, they really, really should consider this proposition. Um, maybe another one that they can even do is change the one that we have in game to an early version of the FRE. Maybe removing the Agile Eagle, for example, maybe even flares, I don't know, and having a lower VR of, I don't know, 10.3, 10.7, I don't know, something like that, and then have this later version with that. But I think not getting too much into that proposition itself, I think just having another FRE uh, would be very, very cool. Um, I know a lot of people dislike these types of ideas because it increases the amount of grind and I do tend to agree with you guys but uh, on that but I really really think he should just we should ha just have them I mean the largest amount of versions of aircraft that we can in the game so for example the MiG-23 that I love uh, I think it's kind of weird that we go from uh, the MiG-23M which is the first like really really usable uh, version of the MiG-23 directly to the last one I mean, even though we have the ML in the middle there, I can I think we should have a, a mic a, like a middle version between these two from the late 70s, a beast for example, or something like that. And the F4E would be the same because the next aircraft that it's going to come to the F4E after the F4E is the F15. And I think it's kind of weird that we we are going to see kind of this jump between a uh, it's late 60s aircraft that it's a little bit modernized with the Agile Eagle and flares and stuff. Directly jumping to a fourth generation as good as the F-15 is, right? So, I don't know, it makes it so that we have kind of a weird situation in the tech tree. You know, I know a lot of you disagree, I kind of don't care uh, about it. I still think that it should come, just like many versions of aircraft come in the earlier tiers. Uh, for some reason, they take a lot of time to add these versions, but yeah, I mean, remember how many years even it took for them to actually add a naval phantom? I mean, where is the FRB yet? You know, or something like that. So it's problematic, right? Um, but I do tend to agree that the m more versions we have in the game, the richer the game becomes and just overall more fun it becomes yes grind needs to be dealt with but adding aircraft remember this guys this is very important adding aircraft should not be a problem the problem is the grind adding aircraft should be cool even if it's kind of a copy paste with a minor difference on them it should be cool to see different aircraft in the game you know, it should be cool to actually hop in in a slightly different FR just to have a, f a little bit of fun. It is cool, actually. The problem that a lot of people don't realize that uh, they kind of mix things up a little bit is that they blame the addition of aircraft or the addition of vehicles to the extra grind. And that's not the problem. The problem is the grind itself that it's too long. For example, we have, uh, I don't know, 400,000 RP in need to research an aircraft in top tier, right? If it was, I don't know, two-thirds of that, for example, adding another aircraft, it wouldn't be that heavy, or even half, imagine, or something like that, right? So the real problem that we have to deal with is the economy together with the grind, not the addition of aircraft, which always got me like, oh, come on, guys. Stop complaining about new aircraft being added. I mean, the game is supposed to have a lot of these versions, right? It's supposed to be fun. The problem is the grind, not the aircraft. So, yeah. But this is my opinion on it. Hopefully, another F4 comes. Maybe after the, the F15. I don't know. I know that a lot of people want the F15. I think it will take a little bit of time since the US is getting an F14B. But still, let's all hope, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you think about the addition of a late version of the F4E. And I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.